Let's be real. If you are 35 years old or older, you probably started noticing some changes in your skin. No amount of creams can fix. You've lost firmness, second round of jaw lines, some pesky lines that you just can't seem to get rid of. You deserve to feel confident in your skin again, but which treatment can give you that youthful lift again without wasting your time and money? Today, I'm going to compare two treatments, RF microneedling and oil therapy to find out which one really works because when it comes to your face you deserve the best hey i'm dr carter with modern body clinic and we are skincare experts at this stage in life you don't want to gamble on your skin let's quickly clarify what each of these treatments does so you know what's worth your time rf micro uses needles paired with radio frequency energy to assimilate collagen at multiple levels it's perfect for firming smoothing and softening those stubborn lines which can make your skin look tired for women who want to improve texture and see real tightening without taking weeks off for recovery. RF microneedling might be your new best friend. Old therapy is a, a treatment focused on the deeper layers. It uses ultrasound energy to lift and tighten, especially around the jawline and neck. It is often marketed as a non-surgical skin lift, but let's find out together if it's really beneficial for your skin. So you invested some time, money, and effort into your skin. Let's talk about how these treatments can actually deliver results because the treatment should do more than just sound good. It should work. So how RF microneedling works is it creates these tiny micro injuries using both heat from the RF energy as well as the needle penetration to induce your body to make more collagen and elastin. And we can use this to treat fine lines, use it to treat sagging, and even we can use it to treat uneven skin texture all at the same time. It's like pressing the reset button on your skin. It's perfect for those who want to see visible results but also need to get back to life without weeks of downtime. All therapy works by focus ultrasound energy. It's going to penetrate much deeper and let's it's less about the surface and it's more about deep lifting and tightening to really stop that droop. What are the pros and cons of each of these treatments? Because let's be honest, you don't want to waste time and effort on a treatment that leaves you disappointed. Here's what you need to know about the results, comfort, and what you expect when choosing between these two. The pros of RF microneedling are is definitely customizable and to someone's exact needs. It can address tightness together and as well as those fine lines. And there's minimal downtime. Now, people often, what we quote is one to two days of downtime, which essentially means redness, but most people have the redness go away that the very same day. For the cons on microneedling is that you may need a few sessions. Generally, most people need a few sessions. And this is because we create a gradual buildup over time. Each treatment stacks on it. the previous one. The skin looks better after each treatment. Now, old therapy, the pros is really great at targeting droopy, sagging skin, especially around the jawline and neck particularly. Results can last well over a year. Now the cons, probably the number one thing people report is pain. It's certainly more painful than RF as well as the price tag is certainly higher as well. And you have to be a little patient with seeing the results. Now this is true of RF as well. Microneedling, you're going to start to see benefits in two to four weeks, but really to see the most benefit, you're going to have to wait 12 weeks. All therapy certainly can be longer before you see the maximum benefit. When it comes to aging gracefully, it's not just about choosing any old treatment. It's one about choosing the right one for where you are right now. Let's figure out which one aligns with your name. RF microneedling is best suited for people who are in their mid 30s, 40s, early 50s, who are looking to refresh their texture, reduce fine lines, and really boost them, especially if you want a natural look. Old therapy is more suited for people with more mature skin and where deep lifting and firmness are the main concern because it's really not going to address texture issues. I mentioned the results it could take much more time to see results with all therapy as component compared to RF microneedling can cause anywhere from 500 to 1500 per session, whereas all therapy is going to be anywhere from 1500 to 4500. Definitely a significant difference there. There you have it. I know deciding on a treatment can be overwhelming, especially when you just want to look your best without the guesswork. Well, if you're still on the fence, I invite you to book a consultation with us and we can go over what your concerns are and see if this is the right fit or something else actually might be a better fit 
for what you're trying to go for. It'll be fun, it's helpful. If you have, please subscribe, it really helps the channel. If you wanna hang out a little longer, check out one of these skincare videos on skin rejuvenation. We'll see you next time.